Intermediate value theorem says, suppose you have a continuous function on a closed interval a to b, and L, any y value between f of a and f of b, and note that f of a is not equal to f of b. Then there is an x value like c in the open interval a and b, such that f of c is equal to L. Let's take a look at one example. This example says, show that there is a root of the equation for x cubed minus six x squared plus three x minus two equal to zero. First, let us define the function related to this equation. The function is f of x for x cubed minus 6x squared plus 3x minus 2. As you can see, the degree of this function is 3. This is a continuous function. Remember, polynomials are continuous functions. Using the intermediate value theorem, since this function continues on R and definitely on any closed interval, for any Y value like L, we can definitely find an X value like C that F of C is equal to L. Just a quick note. Here note that if I plug in one, then x is equal to one. My f of one is equal to four minus six plus three minus two, which is equal to negative one. So my y value is going to be negative. And if I plug in x equals to two, f of two becomes four times eight minus six times four plus three times two minus two. This guy is going to be equal to 12, which is a positive value. So we have a negative y value and a positive y value. What's the meaning of that? These two y values with different signs show that the function passes. The function passes x axis between one and two. So this is the observation that we have here. What's the meaning of that? It means that we can define this closed interval. So let us take A and B to be the closed interval one and two. We already know that the sign of f of one and f of two, they are different from each other. So the graph definitely passes through x-axis. The intermediate value theorem assures us, the intermediate value theorem assures us we can find an x value like c in the open interval one and two, such that f of c is equal to zero. So we just showed that there is a root for the following equation. We can use Desmos and graph this function and find the value for that. Mm -hmm.